What's up my dudes, Valk here, and today we're going to be going over the base Mythic Naruto time skip, talking about why I think he's a really good unit, and why I could see a lot of people really sleeping on him. What he does well, what he's really really good at, etc. I have Ghost on him, as you guys saw in probably my last video. I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but I am going to upload it today. And I think he's a really really good unit. He's a dual guardian, so what that means is that he's a tank. And you can see his defense stat is through the roof. He has really, really high defenses, especially compared to like a glass cannon like Aizen. He has very, very high defenses. So with Ghost, that's going to give him additional evasion properties, which is going to be really good. He's going to have a 7 evasion. Aizen has 13 evasion because he has Ghost. Yeah, this Aizen also has 13. 10 evasion naturally, but you can see he has 7 evasion. He's going to have 23 speed where Aizen has 33 speed with Ghost. But he's a tank, so yeah. Main things he's got, he's got Rasengan, which is a one-turn cooldown move, 220 magic. It hits really, really hard. He just doesn't have a high attack stat because, once again, he's a tank. Next up, we have Clone Rush. Fake out the enemy team, summoning Shadow. Clones around yourself, increasing your evasion for the next two turns and chance to inflict confusion. This is really good. This move right here is the really good one. This makes him really, really powerful. Clone takedown appear in front of the enemy unit, knocking them into the air and following up with a brutal clone combo. This one's okay, but it has a really short cooldown, so it does really good damage. And the last one, Imperfect Rasen Shuriken. Summon two clones to perform the wind style Rasen Shuriken technique, 340 magic, turn time 4, and you can see his accuracy basically 100 on everything. So what exactly does this mean? This means um, that he is a very tanky unit that actually manages to do some really good stuff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to showcase what he does real quick for you guys inside a match. Let's go to Spirit Society. Let's go here. We're going to make sure to turn it off auto so you guys can see exactly what Naruto does. Keep in mind, a lot of his animations are not finished. Same with the sounds. So he might not have animations on the moves because they just released him yesterday. He wasn't entirely finished, but they wanted to get something out for the people on release uh, compared to the demo. So they got him out. He's going to be getting an Evo really soon, and I'm probably going to Evo him because I do like the tank i like the tank option really well i plan on running aizen him team gohan and tsunade which is going to be my main setup so we're going to go ahead and do this we're going to keep on match speed too because let's be honest who plays not on match speed too so let's go ahead and take a look see and see exactly what he can accomplish so we're going to do this we're going to just assassinate you real quick and then we're going to go here we're going to pop clone rush and we're going to just do that because what that's going to do is that's going to um, confuse them, which is going to be really nice. So we're going to do this. And then we're going to activate Unforgivable with Gohan, which is going to increase his evade up and damage up really, really high. I hope I get Ghost on Gohan, to be honest. Ghost is going to be really nice. So you can see this man should just evade or confuse one of the enemies. Confusion is very strong because it makes it so they have a chance of basically attacking their allies, which is insanely powerful. I don't think I need to explain how powerful that is to the point where we can probably just ignore him for now. Uh, then we're going to do this onto you, and then we're going to Rasengan onto you. And I believe that's going to be everybody dead. So we're going to leave the confused guy alone, because odds of him attacking his own team are pretty good. So next up, Rasen Shuriken. You can see how much that does. Like I said, he doesn't hit incredibly hard. Because even though he has good multipliers, simply because um, he is a tank. That's the main thing you got to remember whenever you're looking at him. He is a tank. So here you can see you're going to constantly have to cycle his, his cooldowns. We don't have to. You could always just block. We'll just do that. Because he's not really going to be doing anything anyway. So we'll just block this time. Yeah, you can see he's confused. So it's just basically like stun, but not as consistent as stun. Uh, so we're going to do here while he's still buffed up. Take you out. And then we're going to come over here and take you two out and then we're just going to block with you because i'm pretty sure that is that we're going to pass oh we can't block two turns in a row got it so we're going to do this i'm pretty sure everything's dead here though all right we should get to see gohan's special thingy yeah yep oh not dead oh i thought for sure you would die okay uh, we're just going to basic attack, basic attack. Now we have the imperfect shuriken, which is going to be really nice. We're just going to basic attack with everybody. We don't need to do anything. All right, cool. 
So next up, Quiet Rage. We're going to use Quiet Rage on you before you can rank up your entire team. Then we're going to use this on you. We're going to do Imperfect Shuriken on you. And then we're going to Almighty Push on you. So now you're going to get to see what his ult does. It basically just, it's meant to do like big damage. But once again, he's a tank. He doesn't do big damage, but he doesn't take damage as well. He's His defense is so high. You can see when he got hit. He got hit for, what is that? almost 100 damage he's got 5600 hp he's really good he's going to be very slept on because he doesn't hit very hard but his ability to just absorb damage if you can have a way to force the enemy to target him he's just going to absorb so much damage that you're going that he's going to have a lot of value in that regard i think he's genuinely a good unit but it just depends on how they want to push the meta for their game uh we're going to do clone takedown finally yeah yeah, we're going to do that. Then we're going to Almighty Pool. Um, we'll Unforgivable here so we can Demon Impact next turn. Alright. We're just going to do damage, damage. Uh, it doesn't matter because they'll die to the basic attack from Gohan. But Aizen goes first because he has Ghost. Based. So now we're just going to nuke down Kimpachi before he can do anything funny. We're going to Clone Rush as well. And then we're going to Demon Impact on the Kimpachi and just try to run him down, like I said. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, there you go. You can see the confusion. Confusion is going to be really nice. Mm -mm. All right. So now we're going to Quiet Rage on top of Kenpachi. We're going to do this on top of Kenpachi. Kenpachi is very, very much so dead. So next we're going to do this, and we're going to do this. Yeah, you can see how Naruto is able to go like first, even though he's not. See how they attacked each other? That's why I think Confusion is really strong. Because it's going to make them attack each other, which is really, really, really good. And there we go. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I think Naruto is really good if you guys want to invest in him. I think he's a really good unit. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.